everyone. Did you know that Zoho Creator can help you predict future outcomes or events by analyzing historical data? In this video, we'll introduce the prediction model in AI Modeler and show how you can leverage your existing data and derive critical insights in Zoho Creator. Prediction model can help predict future events or outcomes by analyzing patterns in your underlying data. You can train these models with specific data in your application or using a CSV file, allowing them to learn and make predictions for future data inputs. For example, banks can predict whether customers will repay a loan by analyzing the historical data of customers with similar profiles. Prediction models function based on two algorithms, classification and regression. Classification predicts discrete values like true or false or yes or no from the given data set while regression predicts numeric values like price, quantity, age and more. In this demo, we'll show how both algorithms work. Be it any algorithm, creating your custom prediction model involves these simple steps. To understand this better, let's consider the example of a loan app. Let's build two custom prediction models based on two different learning algorithms suitable for two different use cases. The screen you see now is the apply loan form where customers can apply for a loan. First, let's create a custom prediction AI model to predict if the customer will repay the requested loan amount. Since the outcome of this requirement is yes or no, Zoho Creator will apply the classification algorithm. To create the model, go to the microservices section and click on create new button. Select AI models, choose prediction, give a name, and create a new model. You can train the model using application data or by uploading a CSV file. For demonstration, let's train the model using application data. Select the application and the form based on which you want to train the model. You must specify the field based on which the outcome should be predicted. This is referred to as the base field. In this case, the repeat field will be the base field. The base and dependent fields will display the data only from these field types. Let's choose a few fields. The AI model allows you to choose up to 20 dependent fields to train the model. Next, you must choose the data to train the model. It can be all records in the form or trained with selected records by specifying the criteria. There should be at least 50 records in the training data. The predictive accuracy is directly proportional to the number of records the model is trained with. Click Next. The model summary will give you an overview of the model. The next step will be to train the model. The time taken to train the model depends on the number of records in the data set. The higher the count, the more number will be taken to train the model. Our model is trained now. Creator provides a simulation step where you can test the model to check its reliability. The model has predicted an outcome for the repaid field along with the confidence score. If the confidence score is between 85 to 97, you can proceed to publish the model. You need to retrain your model with additional images if it is between 51 to 84. If the confidence score is below 50, creator suggests you check for inconsistencies in your dataset, refine them and then train the model again. The model can be retrained by accessing the retrain button by clicking the three dots in the top right corner. You can retrain the model with the most recent data using this option. This model displays a high confidence score of 87. Therefore, the model is trained and ready for publish. Once the model is published, it can be used on all the apps in your account. Do note that the model cannot be unpublished after it's published. It can only be retrained or deleted. Deploying the model can be done in two ways. You can either click on the Use Model button, select the application and form name to add the field, or drag and drop the prediction field from the AI field section into the form builder and select the model. A single line field will be created automatically to display the predicted outcome. Give a name and click next. Now, we need to map the model's dependent fields with the form fields. Add the field to the form and click done. Let's see how our prediction model works on accessing the app. As we see, the prediction model predicts the outcome based on the field values we enter. This is just a prediction and the model's outcome may not always be accurate. Next, let's see how we can use the prediction model to predict numeric values. 
The screen you see now is the loan request form. Let's build a custom prediction model in this form to predict the maximum loan amount the customer would be eligible for. Since the outcome will be a numerical value, Zoho Creator will automatically use the regression learning algorithm to predict the value. Most of the steps that we do to predict the value will be similar to what we configured in the previous section, except for a few changes. Let's proceed to build the model. Go to the Microservices section and click Create New button. Select AI Models, choose Prediction, give a name and create a new model. Let's train the model by importing data from a CSV file. This is a sample file containing the previous loan criteria and the eligible loan amount. Click Next. You must specify the base column for predicting the outcome and select dependent columns that influence the prediction. Zoho Creator supports the base and the dependent columns in these data types. You can choose up to 20 dependent columns to train the model and ensure to have a minimum of 50 rows in the training data. Additionally, the file size of CSV is limited to 4 MB. Click Next. The model summary will give you an overview of the model. Once reviewed, you can proceed to train the model. The time taken to train the model depends on the number of records in the dataset. The higher the count, the more time will be taken to train the model. The model is trained now. Let's test the model to see how it performs. As we see, our model has predicted the eligible loan amount based on the data entered on the dependent fields. Now. Let's proceed to publish the model. This model can be used on all the apps in your account. Do note that the model cannot be unpublished after it's published. You can only delete the model. As mentioned earlier, deploying the model can be done in two ways. This time, let's deploy the model from the form builder. Drag and drop the prediction field from the AI field section into the form builder and select our model. Give a name and choose a field type in which you want to display the output. The numerical field types in Zoho Creator will be displayed as options. In this case, let's choose the number field. Click Next. Now, we need to map the model's dependent fields with the Apply Loan Forms fields. Add the field and click Done. Let's see how this prediction model works on accessing the app. As we see, our prediction model predicts the eligible loan amount based on the field values we enter. We have now built two working custom prediction models based on two different learning algorithms. These are just a few instances where using the prediction field in your forms can be beneficial. Similarly, you can build many such custom prediction models to predict various outcomes according to your unique business needs. That's all for this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about Zoho Creator and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video releases. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.